Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be testing four 6L6 vacuum tubes using this Sencor Mighty Might 2 tube tester. This is a vintage piece of gear that still gets the job done, and I'm going to show you step by step how I use it to check these power tubes. The Sencor Mighty Might 2 is a vintage tube tester from the 60s or 70s, designed to quickly test for emission, shorts, and grid leakage. I've already looked up the settings for 6L6 from the tube chart. Let's get started. This first tube tests good. You can see the meter points to the green area on the top row. Now it points to the green area on the second row. Watch till the end. I will explain more in detail regarding the tests. Emissions, grid leakage, and short circuit. For short circuit, we select short test on the function knob, and then we rotate this knob through all the settings one at a time. If there is a short, the neon indicator will light up. For this tube, there is no short. The neon indicator did not light up on any of the settings. Now we will repeat this tests and explain more in detail. I am testing four pieces of 6L6 tubes from a Marshall tube amp. In this video, I will show the test of one tube. First, I take the 6L6 tube and insert into the tube socket. I will need to select the correct parameters for 6L6 tube. I look for 6L6 in this booklet and then set the parameters accordingly. This booklet contains the parameter settings for every type of tube. Once the parameters are set, we can begin the test. The parameters have been set. Now we can start testing the first tube. First, we select emission on the function knob. The meter should indicate a level in the green area on the first row. Here you can see the needle points to a level in the green zone on the top row. This means the emission is good on this tube. Now we move on to test grid leakage. This time the needle should indicate a level in the green zone on the second row. This tube tests good for grid leakage too. Finally, we test for short circuit. We select short on the function knob and then rotate the setup knob through all the settings. Watch the neon indicator. If the neon indicator lights up, there is a short. If it blinks once while turning the selector, it's not an issue. This tube has passed the emission, grid leakage, and the shorts tests. In fact, all the four tubes had passed the tests and I will install it back into the Marshall amp. Thank you for watching. On this channel, we feature the repair process of audio equipment, hi-fi, and musical instruments. If you like to view more content like this, please subscribe to this channel and tell us your thoughts in the comments section. Have an awesome day and see you in the next video.